Hallo und willkommen zurück, meine Lieben. Ich bin euer Ovo. Ähm, wir sind zurück in die Elysium. Ähm, lasst uns munter. Holen wir uns mal das Geld. Schauen wir mal, ob wir dort wirklich Geld kriegen. Oder vom Pornshop. Haben wir gesagt, vom Frit oder vom Pornshop? Ja, gehen wir, gehen wir mal zum Frit Shop. Ja, wir sind ohne Kim unterwegs, weil der die Rose gerade weggebracht hat. The yellow roses in the window, those aren't the flowers that were left. Ah. Wir haben ja Blumen gefunden. Um, is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know anything. Okay, yes, I need to exchange this novelty check for cash. Uh, Wow, I didn't know you worked for the Union, sir. Okay. Passed. Anything else I can do for you? No, Natürlich. you don't work for the Union. The Union works for you by supplying you with cash. Hm. Stimmt. Danke, Rhetorik, dass du mir das klar gemacht hast. Jetzt weiß ich's auch. Gut, haben wir das Geld. Gehen wir zur Choice. Wir werden diese Folge hauptsächlich damit verbringen, ähm, nach, nach der Umgebung zu fragen. Schauen wir mal, was sie zu sagen hat. Cindy? Hast du noch was zu sagen? Hallo, again, Officers. Have you come to admire my Mioro? Ah, ich hätte gern das Ding. Kann das, Cindy? 8% Chance ist mir einfach zu gering für eine rote Sache. Ich will das haben. Ich meine, ich könnte natürlich schummeln und abspeichern. Lange würfeln, bis ich die 11 oder 12 gewürfelt habe. Okay, Neues. Nice. Erzähl mir doch. Gut. Was kann ich dir mit helfen? Ähm. Ich habe noch mehr Fragen über die Realität. in basic reality? My favorite part of the day. Go ahead, ask me anything. Ooh. Conceptualization impossible, but the is 12. Na gut, dann machen wir das doch. What is all of this? The scent, the sound, the air. What world is this? What world? The only one, I suppose. The world of matter and its pale antipode. Okay. The camera of her mind glides over the surface of the water. What do you see? Or the say nothing. Mm -hmm. well, Great nichts. bodies of water, forest covered surfaces, clusters of light where the cities lie. You've seen the montage. We all have. This world is enough. Okay. There is a term of endearment they coined for it in the DeLorean century, when humanity was high on this world, discovering more and more of it, these 
archipelagos included. Okay. Elysium. Ah. Wait, is this the one with the Elysium? The world needs a term of endearment. This world does not deserve a term of endearment. It does. There are those who would call it hell. A term yeah. of hatred that originates, like many such things, with the Mesk Petro fascists. Is this those? I don't feel like I have got the whole picture yet. I've got a clear picture. Let's proceed to another term. Oh, you want a picture of the world? Yeah, ja, hätte ich gerne. There is no complete set yet, dear. They're having some trouble reaching orbit. They're having some trouble reaching orbit. Okay. Yeah. Great things are difficult to achieve. For now, we're viewing the world from the inside, sideways. Oh. Inside sideways? What shape does this world have? We used to think it was a sphere, but that is beginning to look less and less likely by the day. You wouldn't oh. know it from the tabloids, but the ORG nations have been launching weather balloons into the lower ionosphere since the 30s. Okay. ORG. Occident Revishaw Grad. Okay. There's a steadily increasing trickle of images. Between the big three scientific contributors, they're piecing together a dark grey corona. A dark grey corona? Yes. Pale covers 72% of the surface. There Pale. are grey flares and prominences, even arcs above entire isolas. The images are blurry. But if there was a sphere in there, it certainly looks like it fractured a long time ago. Oh. And it's a broken event, also. A cold fear seeps into you. My god, wait. What the hell are you telling me? The pale? And what do you mean, corona? They say there is a rarefied envelope of matter surrounding the darkened disk of our planet. That is, if we are still living on a planet. Or, to speak more plainly, imagine vast swathes of land disrupted by nothingness. Okay. I am sorry, dear. It must sound quite terrifying through the acute encephalopathy. Even scientific positivism isn't entirely convinced about what we're dealing with here. Okay. But this is one of the greatest questions of our time. Maybe when they get the complete set together, it will jolt us out of our rut, bring us together, however naive it may sound. The fractured corona doesn't feel like it's gonna bring anyone together. Okay, and then everything will be okay? You have misimagined it. I don't have the power to convey to you the effect and geometry of the images that depict our world from below low orbit. It's... Yeah. It's like the crowning of the world. It's insane. Very disco. You'd love it. Yeah, definitiv. Disco würde ich lieben. Well, it's disco. See, everyone finds something worth holding on to in this world, however wasted its opportunities. Okay. Suddenly, you're conscious of yourself standing there, on whatever this all is. Your arms hang down by your sides. Okay, what is pale? The pale is not, technically speaking, part of reality. Good. It is the opposite of reality. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what is it? Okay. The pale is the most dominant geological feature of the world, detective. The separative tissue between the islas. It is the inter-islary mass. Okay. Um, also, ocean. Wait, and what is an isola? Isola is a Mycenaean word for a continent of matter, enveloped on all sides by the pale. Also, isolation, or landmass. Okay. We used to believe there was only one. In the last four centuries, we have discovered seven. Okay. Windy, Seol, Samara, Ilmara, Grad, Katla, and this in Silinde. 
And insulin layers. An oceanic isola. It comprises mostly of water. Moindi is the largest. Katla, the coldest. Insulinde, the bluest. What can I say? Each is perishing and dear. Okay. Ill like. Achromatic, odorless, featureless. The pale is the enemy of matter and life. Wie kommt man dann von einer It's Seite zur anderen? It's not like any other or anything in the world. It is the transition state of being into nothingness. Okay. Mal, wir haben Rad und Zylinder. Graf war vorhin doch bei den Dings OCR oder so irgendwie. War das OCR oder keine Ahnung. Hm. The negation of being. <coughs> the negation of being. That's right. The negation of being. She tightens her hood around her neck. Is it here? What are its physical qualities? It's difficult to describe or even measure. Something whose fundamental property is the suspension of properties. Physical, epistemological, linguistic. Okay. The further into pale you travel, the steeper the degree of suspension. Right down to the mathematical. Numbers stop working. No one has yet passed the number barrier. It may be impossible. Okay. You're surrounded by pale. How do you get from Isola to Isola? Oh, it is so difficult for us. Okay. A squall of birds. Hardware operating in the harbor. Firm. Self-evident. Okay. It is possible to force dimensions on the pale. In modern times, we can even compress its latitude. Bouncing radio waves from one end to the other. Shortening the path. Ah. But it is still hard for die humans to navigate the pale without getting lost or having our minds damaged. The pale can damage the mind. How much pale is there compared to the world? The pale outweighs reality two to one. There is okay. more pale than there is matter, and the ratio is slipping. Slipping how? To our Detriment or what do you think, detective? Oh, it's shrinking. There is more and more of the world. It's growing. More and more of the pale. Kann ich das bestimmen, was stimmt? Na ja, okay. Precisely. One of the few measurable effects of the pale is that it is expanding at an unknown rate. Äh, na ja, zumindest ein bisschen müssen wir es gemessen an haben, oder? The conclusion of that development is that one day the pale will cover everything. Mm -hmm. But this sort of talk is mostly left to extremists. It's not extreme at all. It's going to happen. Cover everything. That can't... Where would we go? Stay silent. Most people, and indeed most private and government sector organizations, entire civilizations and religions even, Find handy ways to ignore or downplay that knowledge. Okay. Interessant, dass sie mir das erzählt dann. I suggest you do the same. <lacht> okay. Off we go. You see the hanged man's mouth open. Off we go into the one pale young one. One and all. They say pale is death, but for the universe. Okay. Why should we just leave and leave? And the world get left behind. Pale can damage the mind. Pardon? Extensively. How? Some say the damage stems from extreme sensory deprivation. Others argue that pale somehow consists of past information that's degrading. That it's okay. rarefied past, not rarefied matter. Okay. They call it the blend over of the self. The pale does not only suspend the laws of physics, but also the laws of psychology. Maybe history even. The okay. human mind becomes over-radiated by past. Das heißt, man könnte damit vielleicht in die Vergangenheit reisen und uh, 
alles, was man getan hat, rückgängig machen, damit die Liebste wieder da ist. Who says and who argues? Rhetoric, who says and who argues? Okay. What is this over radiation theory? The logical positivists say, the dialectical materialists argue. Oh, what does this over radiation feel like? It feels terrible. Absolutely terrible. International standards strictly limit civilian travelers to six days of pale exposure per year. Oh, okay. It's more for her. Way more. Oh. You're not a civilian passenger. No, nameless detective of the citizens' militia. I am a member of the entrepreneurial business class. I'm cleared and trained for 22 days of pale transit annually. Okay. Someone else you've met may have been exposed as well. The strange grey-haired woman in her lorry. Ah, stimmt, die kommt aus einer anderen Insula. The lorry drivers pass the pale? Yes, carried in the hulls of airships. It's a horrific job. Automation will abolish it soon. Okay. That poor woman must have stories to tell, like you wouldn't imagine. Are you over-radiated? Up to my gills, officer. What is entrepreneurial? Entrepreneurial is the scientific study of the pale, or a recent iteration of it by way of grad. The study of the pale reaches back 6,000 years. The Periconarsians called it the Western Plain. Uh -huh. They had not traveled the entire circumference of the Periconassian Super Isola. It was not merely in the West. It was everywhere, even then, surrounding them. Did they cross it? Cross it. There are signs of pre-modern crossings. Successful navigation of the Pale relies not just on technical know-how, but intensive psychological preparation. Some of these tactics have been known for thousands of years. Okay. What has anthropomatics changed then? Nothing. We remain powerless before the pale. The only real advance in pale transit is the speed with which an aerostatic craft can pierce it. Less exposure leads to less effects later. Okay. Hybrid airships, detective. Conventional rotors or jet engines no longer add velocity after the point of reference for motion is suspended. Once you've crossed from near pale to far pale. Okay. In essence, we throw them in and they come out the other end. If we throw them precisely. Uh, yeah, what's possible to miss me? Okay. Gone. Like a skipping stone beneath the surface. Fragen? No detective. We're safe. It begins there, 6,000 kilometers to the north, and even more to the south, east, and west. You are in the middle of the Isola. Okay. As your gaze instinctively turns north, a small black pit opens up in your stomach. 6,000 kilometers from the end of the world and point north there. Yes. That is enough. Many cities are built much closer. Okay. An uproar of matter, darling. Rising into the pale. Rolling, evaporating even, a great vision. The area of transition between the world and the pale is called porch collapse. Okay. Imagine a grey coronal mist, cold vapour marked by spores of an opportunistic microorganism. A mould that's adapted to grow at the edge of the unrest. It's uh, um. the most disco thing you will ever see. Okay, also das hat jetzt ein wenig mein Weltbild zerstört. <lacht> Wir sind nicht auf einer Art ähm, Planeten, sondern möglicherweise ein zerbrochener Planet mit einer Nicht-Materie-Ding dazwischen, das wir zwar überqueren können, aber das uns langsam aus sich verrückt macht und immer mehr Platz einnimmt. Finde ich gut. Yes, 
Sweet reality. But before Nicht we gut. do, tell me, Detective. Ja. Is this the first time you're hearing this? Do you really not remember anything? Nothing. Just alcohol, fumes and blackout. I sometimes sense wa vague shadows of a past and it's not good. Then tell me, what do you think of the pale? It's terrifying. You were right, it's disco. <laughs> it will end all life. That we continue to persist at all the testament of our faith in one another. Ugh. Its advance can only be stopped with immediate total ruthless communism. <laughs> A powerful anti-communist force. Perhaps too powerful, but still, they have it coming. I'm worried, I have to say. It doesn't sound very liberal to me. I don't know how you've all survived with it. It's a huge accomplishment. Who am I to think anything? Ah, we name the Disco Saga. Mm-hmm. Crowds feet radiate from the she observes you, your bloodshot eyes and swollen face. You really didn't know. This does not spell good for the investigation, detective. If you don't know even this, then... I'll handle it. It's under control. This investigation will be my masterpiece. One day remember me by, I promise. Yes, I'm in serious trouble here. It'll be a fucking disaster. I know it. All those people will die. <laughs> okay. I hope so. I truly do. If I may suggest, hold on to your colleague, Kitsuragi. I ran a check on him and he is very competent. In the meanwhile... Hey! So that assurance is meant for herself, as much as it's meant for you. She must have a lot on the line here. Okay. You have me. I will assist you in any way I can, even Secret if we have to do completed. it on basic Talk terms. Secret the pale without him. Ah, interesting. That was a secret task. What auch immer das gebracht hat, dass der Kim nicht dabei war. What times are these? What are you? What is this? Okay, we can do that too. What is? Think of something. Wir haben eine 58 percentige Chance, dass es immer höher. Sollen wir es ausprobieren? Ja, aber so nicht. Six kilometers southwest mm. in the Valley of Dogs, Junior Officer Chad Tilbrook takes aim at a rabid black dog licking. Its wounds in the grass. Okay. To his left, his partner, Emil Mollins, whispers, You heard what happened to Tequila Sunset in Martinez? Mm -hmm. Yes, he lost his mind, Tilbrook answers, fingers on the trigger. Don't worry, Emil. He pulls it out slowly. Slowly now. He'll find it again. Fertig he does. Always do. What am I? You? You're an officer of the RCM. The Ravishol citizens Nisha. So Mundo. Good. And what is the Ravishol? Nothing more nor less than the de facto law enforcement body of post-revolutionary Ravishol, detective. You said de facto? Yes. That means not de jure. The RCM acts in what is poetically called the twilight of international law both at the behest of the coalition government and to its chagrin. Okay. What do you mean? Uh, that's it for the who I am part then. The RCM's responsibilities no, are defined by the Emergency, Wayfarer and Aliments Acts. Okay. The pieces of legislation keeping the city in a, let's be honest, laissez-faire stasis to the benefit of foreign <laughs> capital. Okay. 
Also wir helfen mit, die Stadt im Startboden zu halten. So I'm basically a lackey of capital. So I'm basically a troll of two foreign interests. So I'm basically one of the good guys. So I'm basically going to avoid this subject and ask the next question in this line of inquiry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Um... Ja, wir sind mehr Kommunist. There's nothing basic about your role, Detective. It's true that the RCM keeps everything the way our seemingly permanent provisional rulers like it. Mm -hmm. Yet, on the other hand, I know these people. I deal with them daily. Let me tell you, dear, they are not fans of you. Sind sie das nicht? The post-revolutionary decade was a disaster for the coalition government. Revachol in the 20s was hell, especially on the west side of the river. Gang warfare, a botched privatization scheme, a nuclear pile meltdown. Yeah, yeah, from them have we already heard. They called it the international zone because no nation wanted to claim responsibility. The RCM restored peace where the coalition failed. A true blue citizens initiative. Ah. They will never forgive you. Oh, wir haben Ordnung geschaffen, wo Chaos war. Hm, wir sind so gut. So, permit me to conclude with this. Who you are to me is the police. The only legitimate law enforcement authority in Revachol. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. Say nothing. Back to those basic terms of reality then. And if those authorities drink so hard, they need help recalling the basic terms of reality. Well... I'm here to help. No, she's is net. This is feel netter as as man sie sich vorstellen würde. Um, what times are these? What was the RCM again? Nothing more nor less than the de facto. Yes, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That means no. Permit me to. And if those Danke. authorities drink so hard, they need help. What times are these? Unimportant times, detective. Seen it us. You and I were born after the dust had settled. A thousandth of a second too late. Too late for what? For the big time. Ah. Uh -huh. The time. revolution. Ha. Huh. And what is this revolution I keep hearing about? It's quite easy. Every hundred years or so, our species gets together to decide what's next. Who gets shot in the head and who gets the mineral rights. It's a real kerfuffle. A kerfuffle. <laughs> What's the man kerfuffle is? Would you say it was a bunch of you can eat it out? Who got shot in the head? Who got the mineral rights? Uh, White Pines had the mineral rights gekriegt. When was this kerfuffle? That's enough about the times. Why, of course. We're talking Duke Out Central. Full swing intraspecies warfare. Mm -hmm. And the apes, were they evil? No, I would say the apes were neutral. Okay. Looks like evil to me. Okay, neutral. They are good apes, actually. On the other hand... And she turns north to the pumped out building, lining the waterfront. Then shivers slightly, got shot in the head. Those would be the communists. Generally speaking, 40 million people got shot in the head during the World Revolution. Okay. But the communists, they all got shot in the head. Oh, okay. and the anarchists too. They shot them well. So well, one forgets they even existed. Uh, was, die Anarchisten? Yeah. She likes the totality of it. Oh, you could say they got totally shot in the head. Did the communists and the anarchists shoot back? Indeed. They piled them in mass graves in Ozon. And, well, that's the last anyone heard of those people. Okay. Did the communists and anarchists shoot ever, back? Before they got shot themselves, they shot two million people. Hmm. Truly a kerfuffle. 
That's a tragedy. Sounds like they should have shot more people in the head then. Tio. Yes. The Insulindian Deluge, they call it. I had a deluge too in my head. Point to your little head. Anyone else get shot in the head on the opposing side? Oh, lots of people. Even the king got shot in the head. Or thrown beneath a horse. Or drowned. Accounts differ. It was unceremonious. Okay. Just as well, he wasn't actually the king. Just the king's nephew. Valados? The real king abdicated and lived out a long and productive life as a venture capitalist in Grad. Smart king. Cowardly king. I loved that king. Fucking communists. I don't care about kings. Let me... Tell me one more thing. Hmm, smart or cowardly? We nehmen eins von diesen beiden. Cowardly, natürlich. I prefer the term risk averse. <laughs> risk averse. Was nobody's fool. He could smell a PR disaster brewing. So he got out alive, and his nephew Frisell got shot in his place. Hmm. Him and tens of thousands of his wonderfully fascist kingsmen. It was a wild time. Okay. Fragen wir nach den Mineral Rights. Mineral Rights. And by Mineral Rights, I mean everything. <lacht> ja, das habe ich mir fast gedacht. And by Liberals you mean... How did the Liberals win it all? Liberals are usually middle class people, Detective. Or the remaining gentry. The beneficiaries of the pre-revolutionary arrangement. Okay, also die Leute, die schon vorher alles gehabt haben, haben nachher auch alles gehabt. Some were rich enough to stay with the constitution, with monarchy. Big mistake. Others bet on the revolution. They were called the ultras or ultra liberals. They fared well. How did the liberals win it all? They didn't win so much as survive. We were the last ones standing when the war ended. Everyone else got shot in the head, remember? Oh, yeah, sure. She's one of them, of course. <laughs> if everyone got shot, who was there to surrender to? The foreign intervention, the coalition. Those people really took the mineral rights. Wait, you just said the liberals already took everything. The liberals took everything that wasn't nailed to the ground. The coalition took the ground. The ocean, the laws, and the people. Okay. What well, the coalition? The coalition of nations. Grad, Mesk, Vesper, Messina, Oranje, and Sur la Clay. The armed center of the world. They landed here and ended the revolution. It was the moralist thing to do. Oh. There is bitterness in her voice. Tempered with understanding. She is critical but ultimately understands the cause. Moralists? The moralists believe in keeping everything exactly the way it is. They believe in mineral rights and not shooting people in the head. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sache an, an und für sich, oder? At least not in the same manner and volume as the others do. They are the long-standing provisional rulers of Revachol now, the coalition government. This is their zone of control. Also, genau das, was uns Kim eh schon erzählt hat. Law they took. Technically speaking, you are a moralist. Yeah. The color of moralism is blue. The official motto of Moral Intern, or Moralist International, is a blue forget-me-not, a piece of gray sky. Unofficial. For a moment, there was hope. If always picking the option that doesn't commit to anything, then hell yes, I am, and also not. <laughs> That's a good answer. Not just technically, practically. For a moment, there was hope. I don't think I'm a moralist, ma'am. A devout man of the center. Hard to come by. It's good to have someone who takes a moderate approach to head shooting. In your line of work, I mean. Ja. Okay. Um, wie eigentlich ziemlich genau, wann das war. 
don't answer it. It's a trick question. The revolution began in 02 on the Isla of Grad, though by the end nearly the whole world had gotten involved. Okay, we started it. It wasn't a who, but a what. A pandemic of Sarat, a particularly virulent prion disease. Okay. Which the authorities in Grad proved unable to contain. Then Mazov came along and overthrew the government. Eine Prionenkrankheit, also BSE oder Kreuzfeld Jakob. Uh, what did the Sarat do? It made people overthrow their governments. Okay. Das klingt nicht nach einer Krankheit. Really? Of course not. It was a highly infectious microorganism that destroyed brain tissue. The actual causes of the revolution were material. The pandemic only provided the spark. Okay, gut. Uh, allerdings, Prionen sind keine Mikroorganismen, sondern falsch gefaltete Proteine. Das möchte ich an dieser Stelle nur kurz erwähnen. Where did it spread from there? From Revachol and Grad? Not far. The world managed to cauterize itself. Mazov's government was overthrown in 08, and the coalition crushed the Revachol commune two years later. It was the end. What next? Why? You and I, officer. Our hmm. lives in the zone of control. Okay, can einziges kommunistisches Ding überleben? Something tells you her life and yours are not that similar. <laughs> Maybe it's because she has a boat and you have that necktie, <laughs> a pair of pants. <laughs> yeah, the necktie is good, yeah. Um, our lives are very different from each other. No doubt. But we share the same time and position on the planet's crust. That counts for more than you think. Okay. Was mein Stor? Was ist die Zone of Control? A state divided into free market zones under the everlasting interregnum of the coalition of nations, and you, of course, the citizens' militia. Okay. A clatter of typewriter keys fills the main hall of the reappropriated silk mill, precinct forty-one. Chad Tilbrook. Presses enter. Outside, Officer Elfboy Williams slams the door of an armored motor carriage. Okay. The zone of control is the third incarnation of Revachol, after the failure of the suzerain and the commune. Okay. What happened in the rest of the world? Modernity. They developed the marvels of the inter communication. Telematic milieus, radiation, colored plastics. Meanwhile, in Revachol West, the aftermath continues for the fifth decade. Okay, seit 50 Jahren sind wir also hier in einer Art ähm, Slumhölle gefangen, die noch immer eine Mischung aus ähm, nach Revolution und Hyperkapitalismus ist. 51 minus 8 equals 43. Okay, danke. Wait, you're saying it's been like this for 43 years? Time flies. What have we been doing all that time? The 20th saw a decade of urban war, west of the river leveled, offshore platforms in flames. Still, it's regarded as an improvement on what came before. 08 to 19 was simply hell. And after that? The 30s? Things settled down in the 30s. Revachol East transformed itself into the world's largest tax haven, with the international community's blessing. For the first time in a long time, it seemed like things were going somewhere. Okay, were they? No. It was a market <laughs> mirage fueled by cocaine and quantitative <laughs> easing. The 40s dispelled it like a cold splash, an Isla wide hangover, you might say. And. Here we are. Okay. Uh, stimmt, wir haben ja ge gesehen, sie haben versucht hier in unserem Viertel, in dem wir gerade sind, ein Touristenzentrum aufzubauen. Welcome to reality, baby. Okay. Sehr schön. Und noch ein Lever. For her to be where she is, Wild Pines Group must have picked the right side. Hmm. Which side was Wild Pines Group on? They picked the winning side. That's why they're here. 
and others are not. He chose wisely and not lucky. Perhaps it wouldn't have turned out that way had I been in charge. I might have bet on the king and led the pines to doom. You would have sided with the king. I would have sided with the cannons. If you'd seen the calibers of the things, you might have too. Perhaps it's better I was born when I was. Ten yeah, of the fourteen Indo tribes got it wrong. Feld, Kupri, Tricentennial. So I suppose I would have been in good company. Okay. Oh, we wissen, es gibt noch einen fünften Indo tribe. Wir können danach suchen. What would you have done differently? Good question. What would you have done differently? Keine Ahnung, ich habe keine Ahnung, was passiert ist. Hast du mir nicht zugehört? <laughs> I asked you, who are you in all this? I would have sought a medical solution. Sounds like Sarah. Mad. Put more, 400 million, if that's what it took. Hmm. I would have positioned myself very precisely. I would have made it out with the mineral rights. Das wäre die liberale Einstellung. I don't know what I would have done different. Gute Frage. Ich meine, wir sind natürlich nicht in der Position uh, von dem Konzern gewesen. Um, wir nehmen die langweilige Lösung. So a quarter of humanity simply lost their minds. And how would you stop a prion? A complex folding protein. Ah, da ist es jetzt plötzlich. With the technology 50 years ago. Ah, ha. Hier hat sie erkannt, dass Prionen wirklich Proteine sind. Unfassbar. With some hygiene, modest social care and perhaps a little research program, liquidate the rabbit prion infested dogs who want to kill everyone with cleansing artillery fire. Das finde ich ist eine gute Antwort. Privatized healthcare and a work ethic that does not turn your brain into sponge tissue. Okay, maybe it's impossible. What happened had to happen and always will. Okay, wir nehmen das natürlich. Liquidate? That's what King Philip kept screaming from the soul album. Liquidate, liquidate! Ah. In the end, they liquidated the soul album, melted the palace cube down to gold and platinum, and sold it for bullets. Uh -huh. Strange times. Uh -huh. They are what they are. Who knows? An afterbloom may yet come. Anyway, enough sentimentality. Is there anything else you want to know? Not so fast. Who is she in all this? Ask her who she is. She owes you an answer. I want to know what you are. Hmm. She okay. won't maneuver her way out of this one. What are you? No, say no. I am the vilest of the vile. Oh. A traitor. A devourer of nations and infants. Mm, ja, das klingt nicht sehr positiv. I am an ultra. Wait, what's an ultra? An ultra liberal. See how they vorher gesagt. Cool, I liberate pretty. I liberate pretty hard myself. I don't understand. What's so wild about that? Haven't you heard? I am a nether creature of the forbidden swamp. One of those who pushed the king under a shit wagon and betrayed the revolution. Ah, yeah. We surrendered the nation to the financier pirates. No sane person identifies as an ultra liberal anymore. Not so okay. daylight. You've got Revachol in your blood. A real nationalist. Tell me, now that I've uncoiled myself, are you repulsed? Yeah, of jeden Fall. I mean, have you all destroyed? green eyes, you see a mixture of truth and self satire. Decades of guilt. And pride. Hmm. I'll forgive you, but only because you're charming. <laughs> I don't care. Das ist natürlich auch eine interessante Antwort. Um, wir wollen ja nicht vergeben. Wir wollen ja auch nicht sagen, dass ein Monster ist. Sie lebt halt, wie sie lebt. 
Sie glaubt, dass das der richtige Weg ist. Sie ist reich, sie hat alles, was sie braucht. Vergeben werden wir sicher nicht. A fitting punishment to be forgotten, if not forgiven. Save a prayer for us in our chateaus on Azon and in Stella Maris. Ja, ich würde auch gerne ein Chateau in Azon und in Stella Maris. When the dust settled, the liberals were the only ones left to clean up the mess. By virtue of their survival, they were handed enormous power to shape the future. Okay. All our last generation managed. Okay, would you have done something differently? With due respect to our overlords, the eternal caretaker government that keeps Martinez a monument to the efficacy of its artillery, I would not have relinquished sovereignty to the coalition. Not here in Martinez, and not in the Stella Maris or Delta Beachheads either. If not for my own sake. Okay, I would not have relinquished sovereignty. Okay. Then for my daughters. We had an obligation to defend our sovereignty. We should have burned the whole Isola down rather than let them have it. Okay. <laughs> Sehr extrem, die gute Frau. Dark orange flames reflect in her green eyes. An oil fire on the ocean. You're a smart woman. You're a patriot. You have daughters. <laughs> yes. Whatever else I am. I'm also a mother. And a wife. Okay. Shall we return to reality? Yeah. <sighs> a bird? A Svenicid? A flightless bird of the polar regions? Keep guessing. Am I really that? I mean, what is this place here? Ah. This is the pier of Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A. Where the tenants have been kind enough to rent me a slot. Okay. Or two. A pre revolutionary tenement. Old buildings are called tenements, you see. And new buildings, bâtiments. After les bâtiments nouveaux. But 33A and 33B are not nouveau. They're old. Okay, yeah. Stimmt, haben wir gesehen. This one used to be eight to ten stories tall. A real high rise by the standards of the last century. Okay. Built to mirror the skyscrapers across the bay in the delta. That was before the war, of course. Who lived in them? Mostly the urban middle class, I believe. This was once primo real estate. Before the okay. cannons locked four or five stories off. Yeah. Flat, flat. From a dilapidated... Alchemy, a young girl in odd clothes gives choice the evil eye. You could be wrong, but from here it appears as if she's running the brush across her throat in a soaring motion. Yeah, klar, natürlich. Wonderful. What is that? The girl in the old lady rags? Yes. No, no, I mean. I meant something basic about reality. Looks like a sullen and rebellious member of a team infraculture. Infraculture? Yes. You and I belong to the supraculture. We're common, the herd. The music on the radio, the food in the chain restaurant, those are all too popular for the girl in the old lady rags. Ah. She prefers a fantasy world, an infraculture with its own dress code and vernacular. It is an illusion, I'm afraid. There is no refuge from the supraculture. Okay. Now explain the same thing, but to a child. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's see. Young it. people who dye their hair funny colors and wear old people's clothes are stupid, and their little rebellion is self-defeating. Okay. All right. What next? Suddenly. You're not so sure you're part of the super culture. Hmm, I think I may be part of an infra culture. And what would that be? Disco. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I can see that, yes. I dabble in those dark arts myself, not so long ago. I assure you, it was a thoroughly supracultural phenomenon. All permeating. 
Downright mandatory. Ist es das? Nothing infra about disco, baby. Nein, sie ist nicht Disco. We got it covered without another basic reality. Um, na, okay, wir fragen sie, ob sie Those Disco days ist. Long behind me. And even in the early 30s, I would say I was more of a new girl. Disco was a minor, but still enjoyable facet of the whole thing for me. Okay, the new. The new. A cultural era. And the name of the decade it ravished, the 30s. It came out of post-revolutionary revachol. It was ultra-liberal. Okay. It involved lots of partying, as you might imagine, and champagne-colored everything. By the looks of it, that would have been when you came of age. Now. Okay. She raises her eyebrows at you. Okay, sounds fun. I can't remember a single film. Champagne. That doesn't sound like anything I'd be into. I'm straight dead. Got it. Let's take it back to reality. Ich glaube nicht, dass ihr Champagner trinken würde. A serious detective on a case called Reality. Speaking of, is there anything else? No. That's all for now. Glad to have been of assistance. The little that I know. Anything else? Wir werden nicht über Everard Claire sprechen, bevor wir nicht unseren Inspektor, unseren Sergeant zurück haben. Und wir werden jetzt auch hören fürs Erste. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Bis dann.